to this. Trying to three-peat as Big 12 champions to Dallas now. Ron Franklin and John Sumble, the game in progress. Okay, Chris, our situation, 9.58 left in the first half of this one from the American Airlines Center in Dallas. It is 18-8. to 8. The Oklahoma Sooners have come out firing. And John and I were just commenting during the timeout. John said, you know, Oklahoma really hasn't played that well during the tournament. But they've come out this afternoon looking as though Kelvin Sampson's team might be on the mark today. And they struggled against Colorado really with foul problems. Now, Qantas White and Hollis Price led them with 19 points each. Yesterday, they struggled finishing the game against Texas Tech. They went into over time. Kelvin Sampson not happy. They didn't make free throws. They had turnovers down the stretch. This afternoon so far kind of looks like the Oklahoma team that we've seen all season long. You see the guard scoring Oklahoma 12 of the 18 points. Nice job by Quinn Snyder and his staff though. They've got five guys in double figures for the tournament as Arthur Johnson knocks down still another one. Only one other Tiger has a basket other than Arthur Johnson. And I think Missouri continues to pound it into Arthur Johnson to see if Oklahoma makes adjustments. Bryant, the only other Tiger. He got a, a layup from the inside. Trayvon Bryant has been a real driving force for the Missouri Tigers in this uh, Big 12 championship series. Shot clock is at six. Wattis White spins to his left, which he loves to do. Jabari Brown is getting the ball in wonderful places, and he already has eight points. But Quinn Snyder knows they've got to find a way to keep Wattis White out of the paint. I mean, he's getting the ball to six feet. When he jumps up, he can either shoot it, but he's being double teamed. He just drops it off. Jabari Brown gets a couple easy ones. Ball tipped up by Brown. Paulding had it, knocked away by Price, and it's going to stay with Missouri. And a fresh 35 seconds. Well, Brown's going to go to the bench. Gilbert will check back in. Yeah, you saw the passion on Kelvin Sampson's face about rebound, defense and rebounding. They have not rebounded the ball well. They have not played their best basketball. He knows it. His players know it. So everyone anxious about the championship here as an air ball goes up by Clemens. He's been way off on both of the three-pointers that he took. Uh, yesterday was one of eight from three-point land against Kansas. Yo, powerful move there. And Arthur Johnson comes down with the rebound. Johnson with four rebounds in the early going. Here's Bryant. Muscles it up and fouled by Gilbert. Johnny Gilbert will pick up his first personal foul, but there again, the patience of Trayvon Bryant. He's been able to take the ball inside and shoot fadeaways on guys, turn it back to the left shoulder. Now watch the patience. Everybody's playing that left shoulder. He turns back to the right shoulder, up and under. Again, a couple first possessions yesterday, he turned back a little fadeaway to the left shoulder with the left hand. Oklahoma sat on that shoulder that time, and he turned the other way. As we mentioned, Trayvon has had a tremendous tournament, the game winner two games ago, but he was outstanding yesterday as well. There's the three and Clemens pumps the fist as if to say finally. Well what you like about the mentality of Ricky Clemens the air ball did not bother him. I mean he came right back and he wanted it again. It's not going to affect him. He's one of five so far today. Seven point ball game as we're under eight minutes to play opening hand. Blake Johnston in the lineup number 12. Sophomore out of Midland Texas. Pretty good with the basketball. Good open court shooter. It's by Clements and dishes it off and Gilbert. I'll tell you, they are, they're making their centers look absolutely wonderful. Point guards are uh, really eating this Missouri team alive right now. Knocked away. Johnston caused the turnover and they give it back to Gilbert and he loses it. It was a touch last by Missouri. So we'll take a timeout. 22. 726 left until halftime. They had Big D. 22 to 13, Oklahoma on top. And John Sunbow, one of the things that OU does as well as anybody, they make you play uphill. They make you play from behind. You bet. And they dictate it. That's what they've done so far. They love to get off to great starts. And really, this battle so far has been one of the defensive end. Oklahoma's challenged every shot that Missouri has taken. On the other side, Missouri's getting broken down defensively. Their point guards are not containing. Quantus White already has four assists. Most have been in easy passes for layups. Look at those numbers. Turnovers forced. Oklahoma's for seven. And nine points off that. 
Points in the paint, Missouri sixth, and OU 14. And majority of those have either been layups or jams. Well, Ricky Paulding still scoreless, has only taken two shots. Good job by Hollis Price to deny Paulding the basketball. Bryant on the drive, he came over with a double team. Lookout tried to help out. McKinney with the three, not there. Bryant tips the ball right back, and Alexander has it. Sooners very efficient in their half-court sets. Always have been. They'll run plays, set a lot of screens, and the way Price moves without the basketball, he makes, again, right there, Missouri had to jump with two guys. So if book out rolls, he'll have a pass to him. We talked about the fact that uh, Missouri a little fatigued because of uh, this being their fourth straight day to be playing. Yesterday afternoon, in the waning moments of that overtime game against Texas Tech, both guards for OU were uh, wincing a little bit. Hollis Price had the uh, stomach cramp, and uh, Qantas White <laughs> fell on a basketball and uh, gave him a little bit of a stomach ache. Shot clock is at six. Alexander. Interesting that the official inside didn't call that, and the official far away did make the call. I guess it's on Brian. Yeah, Trayvon Brian with the reach. Instead of doing it with the uh, footwork, he's sliding over. Watch the arm come in for the reach. Across the body and the official from the other side probably can't tell the angle of the basketball. Yesterday, Bryant took three charges early against Kansas, but he did it with his footwork. Got over there in time. Well, he's, he's got two fouls. Three team fouls against Missouri. Good look at Alexander, who's had a nice, solid freshman season. And uh, with Evie Ross struggling at times, Alexander's been a good help. He started a lot of ball games for Kelvin Sampson down the stretch. John, you know so well, to do well in the NCAA tournament, some of those freshmen, some of those new faces that you maybe didn't anticipate would give you as many minutes or help, somebody's got to step up and come through for you. Well, they won't be happy that he missed two free throws. He's a good free throw shooter. And again, the Sooners struggled yesterday from the line down the stretch against Texas Tech. Clemens puts it on the board. He's going to drive right by him and missed it. Young, good rebound. Back outside to Paul to McKinney alone. Here's Clemens. And he will pump it out on the wing. Paulding. Better look for Paulding. All created because the offensive rebound by Kevin Young. Gave him a second chance. Well, now that brought the Missouri Tiger fans up and cheering. He's one of three. And as we mentioned, averaging almost 17 points a game during the tournament. Came into this tournament, his last four or five ball games, nearly 20 a game. I mean, he's the guy that's really carried the Tigers down the stretch. Johnson works it back to the middle. And he's going to take a three-pointer. And in and out, unlucky on that shot the floor saved Jabari Brown with the hustle opportunities that's what you're looking for Oklahoma won that fight a little more intensity now picking up since the start of this game Sooner shooting 45 and a half percent Missouri 36.8 7 of 19 the price I'm surprised you didn't uh, maybe call travel there she was sliding on his knee that's a three. Three. that kid can answer anything can he you know, what a great season, what a great career he's had. Been fun to watch in a Sooner uniform. We kept talking yesterday. Every time the Texas Tech fans would get a little bit noisier and the fans or the, the, the Tech players would get a little more excited, all of a sudden, pow, it was Price, as you said, who had the answer. And you know, offensively, they're looking for him to get a shot. And defensively, all defenses are trying to stop him from shooting. The mistake there Paulding made, he went under the screen. You want to chase over the top of a great shooter, make Hollis put it on the floor, and go where it doesn't want to go. He would rather pull up and shoot that jump shot. Look at those numbers in the last 12 games. Wow. Nine-point lead, under five minutes to play in this opening half. The Phillips 66 Big 12 Basketball Tournament. And coming up immediately following this game is the Women's Selection Sunday. White being guarded by Jimmy McKinney. We're on a rematch today of the Elite Eight game. These two teams battled out, and Oklahoma went to the Final Four. 
You love Hollis, huh? He jumps up and he smiles. The crowd's yelling. He's smiling at Scott Thornton. 6'1", about 100 and uh, maybe 70 pounds. I couldn't tell if Arthur was walking up here to help him get back up or what. <laughs> I could tell him. <laughs> Way outside his price. He'd be back to them. Got to call that one. Sometimes it's your day and your year and everything else. <laughs> Shot clock is running down. Three of four <clears throat> from outside the arc for him. The Sooner team is active with their hands defensively. Paulding trying to find just some.